Chopper down at EMR cleared for approach. Jericho Stewart is in and out of prison more than half his life. He feels nothing. At least he didn't until they jammed that great big spike into his cerebral cortex you know, and injected the DNA uh, of a dead CIA op into Hulk. his skull. You're an intelligence officer of the CIA. Why? Well, the op died with secrets, and this type of Frankensteinian science could unlock them. Pay attention. But Jericho Stewart's a killer suffering an excedrin day. He's living with someone else's memories on top of his own. I need you to remember. I don't remember nothing. Criminal is all about putting the mind of a good guy inside the body of a bad one, played here by Kevin Costner. Brings to <clears throat> mind what can happen when one puts the head and its delicate contents into a danger zone. Costner's having been atop ships in Waterworld and speeding steeds and dances with wolves in films past. And here, care of a submerged London cab and an ill-fitting hoodie. Now you're you're uh, a guy that you ride horses. You're you're, you're and it's pretty dangerous activity right there. Uh, I used to ride motorcycles. I ride bicycles. I've had two major concussions. Uh, I know that that concussions and head injuries and things like that can do crazy things to your memory. Uh, have you ever had a, 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 any that type of thing? A concussion? That's I had a lot when I was a kid. My dad used to get really angry at me, and my mom would say, back off him, he just, just plays hard, you know what I mean? But my dad got so nervous about what it maybe could happen, but no, I'm real conscious of that. Um, uh, you know, I, I have put myself, even in this movie, you know, being down in that car under that water, you know, you're, you're, I'm, you're down there, you know, you're 20 feet down below, and I remember trying to get out of that car one time, and the hoodie that I had on caught onto that back, you know, the little back part of the seat, and even no one could get to me right away, and so I'm trying to get out, and I'm wondering what's catching me, and I mentally, at that point, got, I went back to, it's my hood that caught it, you know, and I remember later getting up to the top and the stunt guy, because, you know, I was, I was that close to, you know, coming in there, because I could see you struggling, but I, I tried to stay in character for as long as I could, like, solve the problem and then and then get up but that's a microcosm of, of what I've had in my career because I do ride horses because I do get on the top of the mast in water well because I am way down without oxygen that I have put myself I mean even in dances riding with the buffalo there's prairie holes out there and the horse is going full tilt the only God is protecting you that horse could have stepped in it and I been going 40 miles an hour and I heard a buffalo so um, it's part of what I've loved. Uh, there's probably people in your life that say, please quit riding, but it's part of what you love. There's too many lives at stake. They don't matter. They do to me. They messed with me. Thought they knew what they'd get. But they were wrong. <laughs>